Hi dolls! Baby, go back in the bed. Hey dolls, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, you know what to do. Go ahead and click the subscribe button below and become a part of the family. My name is Z, and I love to do tons of fun feminine content on this channel. So if it's something you're interested in, please do consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. All of my social medias will be sprinkled in the description box below. So now that you know everything you need to know, let's go ahead and hop into this video. But in today's video, we are going to be doing a girly collective haul. It's going to be a combination of beauty care, um, clothes, and also just random girly things so consider this your girl therapy for the day so this year I have really been focused on my appearance I want to focus on how I look and how I feel in my own body and in my skin and how I present myself to the world I feel like I do a great job of that with my space I'm really good at making my space feel beautiful and warm and inviting and cozy but then I have the time would just look like a bum like I literally live in sweatpants a sweatshirt okay but at least it's cute and it's Barbie okay but half the time I look like a bum and then my place looks gorgeous but I want to actually match my place I actually want to look gorgeous just like my space looks gorgeous because if you really think about it this is kind of a temple where your mind and your consciousness is hosted inside of so you definitely want to take care of this space just as well as my outer space so that's what we're focusing on this year so I'm gonna be doing a lot more skin beauty care hair care of type videos as well as some fashion videos so to start off the year right I'm going to be sharing with you guys this haul and first we're gonna start out with Marshalls so here are two shampoo and conditioner that I picked up. I needed some new shampoo and conditioner. I'll be honest, I'm not super picky about the type of shampoo I use in my hair. I feel like for the most part, all shampoos do the same thing. They clean your hair. Um, the conditioner, however, I am a little bit more picky about because some are oily or less oily than others. And it does matter for my type of hair. But I picked up this from the Coco Magic brand. And this is the Coco Coconut Oil Conditioner and also the shampoo. I just picked up the matching set. I was just looking for some shampoo in a really big bottle because I am out of my shampoo typically I go for the Garnier fruit tea shampoo it's just what I've used for years and I never really like ventured out to try anything new I think I maybe tried a few different ones here and there but they just never ended up working out and I just felt like what was the point of paying expensive money for like shampoo when I could just get it at Walmart for like eight bucks for a big one but I don't think they sell them at Walmart anymore for eight bucks. They're like 15 bucks now. So I saw these in Marshalls for $10 and I thought they were a really good steal. Looks like it has a lot in there. I probably should have picked up two conditioners. If you're a curly hair girly and you have thick hair, then you already know that you run out of conditioner fast. Like my hair eats up conditioner. So I should have gotten two of these. Might go back and get another one. But these were both $9.99 a piece. They say that they're supposed to be natural, paraben free. It says infused with hair strengthening coconut oil and botanical extracts deeply hydrates and restores shine this is paraben free and non greasy because yeah I didn't want my hair to be greasy but I did also want it to be moisturized I'm looking for like a soft shiny texture in my hair and I'm hoping that this could help I did try out this brand for their like detangler and it works really well in my wigs <laughs> that doesn't really mean it'll work in my hair but uh, I thought why not try these out these were the biggest bottles of shampoo that I saw there so I just picked them up and it didn't hurt that the packaging is pink so I absolutely love this. I will be trying it out. I'll let you guys know what I think about these. $20 for shampoo and conditioner. I'm like, what is this world coming to? Like really, I used to buy my shampoo and conditioner for $8. Like I don't understand it. But you know what? It's my hair and it's worth it. So I have another bag here from Marshall. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so I picked up this cute like bento lunchbox with two compartments and cutlery. I saw this and I have been eyeing these for a while. I wanted to get it because I always go to work and when I go to work, I pack these lunches and I have to pack. Okay, I'm one of those people who I don't like. I like my I don't care if my food like touches each other if they're all on a plate together, but I don't like my food to sit in containers together. 
I don't know if that makes sense, but I just don't like them together, especially if I'm like, if I have a sandwich, I won't make a whole sandwich and put it inside of my box. I'll like put the meat in one compartment, put the bread in another and put the veggies in another, just because I don't like my bread to get soggy. And I have been wanting to get like a lunch box where I could separate everything. And I found this one at Marshall's. It's so super cute, it's pink. It also comes with a fork and a spoon, which I am so happy about because the kitchen at my job doesn't have like the proper forks. Like, I don't know why, but they have like these tiny mini baby white forks. And I'm like, why are these even here? Like, can we just get proper forks? But this way I can just take my fork. Oh, and the spoon has a knife at the bottom of it. That's pretty cool. And I also thought this would be great for like picnics and things of that nature. So I'm really excited about this. It does say it's PP. I don't know what that means. So eco-friendly brand and it's microwavable, dishwasher safe, BPA free and designed in Australia. That's pretty cool. Um, this was only $4.99. They did also have a cream colored one, which I thought about picking up. But then when I saw the pink, I'm like, why am I going to get cream? instead of pink i just thought the cream one was would be cute i don't know why i just looked at it and i was like oh this would be cute but it's not as cute as a pink one so anyway i got it for five dollars and i can't wait to use this at work this was actually something i needed really badly so i know i'm going to get a lot of good use out of it. and like i said at the beginning of this video definitely this year focusing on getting things that we absolutely need or absolutely are in love with and just like feel like we can't live without it so i'm happy i got something that was needed so this is an item i was on the hunt for and just ran across so I had noticed that Juicy Couture came out with these like silk PJs for Valentine's Day. They have a dark pink one and a light pink one. And I was on the hunt for the light pink one with the shorts because I live in California and summer is coming up. So I definitely need some PJs with shorts and I wanted to elevate my style this year. I have a lot of like juvenile PJs, you know what I mean? Like t-shirts and like even the ones I'm wearing now like fuzzy pants it's just really like juvenile and I definitely want to invest into some more like upscale quality PJs like silk pajamas and robes like I definitely just want to mature my lingerie and my sleepwear wardrobe and just my wardrobe in general but I found these shorts I could not find the top I thought I found the set but when I pulled it out I didn't see the top connected to it it has this like a bling jc logo in the corner which i thought was so cute i do know the top has the bling jc logo as well in the corner on the pocket couldn't find the top guys but they gave this one to me for four dollars it was on clearance because it was missing the top so i still think this is pretty cute i will be on the hunt though for the set because I feel like I can still wear this with other tops and then if I find the set I could pair with that as well and like alternate the shorts as needed so I think that's gonna work out really good for me as I said that was four dollars and I'm so excited that I found that the next thing that I picked up is this clinical works rose hip facial toner as I just mentioned to you guys I'm really getting into skincare and in order for me to find the perfect skincare routine I really need to like kind of experiment and try a bunch of new products just to see what works for me I'm one of those people where I tend to find something and if it works I just stick to it and then I never change it out even though there could be something that works better I just never change it out um, I was looking for a new face toner because I thought that maybe the reason why my face was like super dull and dry was because of the toner I was using. I was using this witch hazel toner and I just felt like it was drying out my skin. So I picked this one up again. This is by Clinical Works. It was only $4. It also really, really helped that it was in pretty packaging because I just feel like when it's aesthetic like this, it just draws my attention to it. It does say that it tone, it's toning and refining. It's alcohol free and cruelty free as well, which is a plus. Uh, and yeah, not tested on animals. And it just has the directions. Yeah, it's really pretty. So I had to pick it up. Definitely will be giving you guys in my vlogs updates about what I feel or think about these products. Let me know if you guys tried any of these products too. Let me know what's working for you and what's not. Maybe you guys can give me some advice on what I should be using in my skincare routine. So the next thing to go along with that, I picked up the Clinical Works Facial Cleanser. This is infused with vitamin C and it's for brightening and for a healthy glow. It says it gently hydrates. I tend to have very, very sensitive skin. So I have to be very careful with like the face wash that I tend to use so I I'm hoping that this won't break me out it seems as though it's kind of like a gentle skin wash 
face wash. I'm hoping that it doesn't break me out. But we're gonna try it out and we're gonna see. Again, the packaging was just so cute. I really couldn't like leave it behind. I was looking at all of the other skincare and all the other face wash and I saw this one. I was just like, we're gonna go with this one because the packaging is cute and I don't really know which one to choose. And I'll probably ultimately end up trying all of these at one point until I find the one that I absolutely love. So I picked it up. This was only $4.99 as well. And I was looking for something like I told you guys earlier that could brighten my skin and moisturize my skin. I really want a healthy, natural glow. Um, so that's what I'm looking for. And I'm hoping that this will help me out. I will definitely let you guys know what I think later on in my vlog, like I told y'all. Ooh, the lid is kind of wobbly, 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 wobble, wobbing. Okay, hold on, why is it wobbling like that? The last thing I got from Marshalls is this pink rose and oat milk shower gel. It says repair and hydrate. This is by the Pure Eco Pure Soroa Body. I think this is the same thing as the Bento Box. Yeah, you guys. So this is the same brand that makes the Bento Box as well. I didn't really notice that until now, but I saw this on the shelf and I was thinking, you know, I really need to get like a new hydrating body wash. I have been using the Bath and Body Works body wash for so long and don't get me wrong, they are moisturizing, but there's also something about them that aren't super moisturizing for me lately. They just have been drying out my skin and I can't for the life of me understand why. Maybe they're just some of the ones that I'm using are a little bit old. I'm not 100% sure, but for some reason it seems like maybe because it's it's cold outside but it just seems like my skin isn't getting as moisturized as quickly um, with those body washes anymore I have been advised by my gynecologist to steer away from the fragranced bath and body works body washes which I do but at the same time excuse me at the same time I love my bath and body works body washes because when I want to go out and I want to up my fragrance game washing with the bath and body works wash and then pairing the lotion and the body cream and then the fragrance mist on top of that just really really layers it up so for scent purposes and fragrance purposes i love bath and body works but for health purposes my gynecologist highly suggested that i not wash with those body washes as frequently and if i can get to a point where i don't wash with them at all that would be great so i have kind of stepped back a little bit from using those body washes i still give them to my roommate bunny he uses them so and he's fine with it but I did want to pick up another body wash that I felt like was gentle. The body washes that I used in the past that really moisturized my skin was the Dove body wash and also the Oveno Oat. I think it was Oat Milk or it might have been Oatmeal body wash. Those were super moisturizing and I was like, girl, let's just try something with oat milk in it. So I saw this one and it said Oat Milk. And I'm like, well, Oat Milk is made from oatmeal. So same difference so I thought I'd try this out and I also just felt like this was a really big bottle and it was $6.99 so I felt like you're getting a lot for what you pay like look at how big this bottle is this is a 33.4 ounce bottle of body wash I definitely will let you guys know if it's moisturizing or not and of course it did help that the bottle was aesthetically pleasing and fits in with everything in my bathroom because now I'm like oh my god I can't wait to use this you know that always helps when it fits your aesthetic, you know. It also helped me make the decision on what to try first because if I hadn't been picking things that were aesthetically pleasing to me, I would have just been picking random things because I really don't know any of these products. I'm not familiar with any of these products. I'm not a product whore, so I don't just get a bunch of products. So I don't know a lot. So I would have just been picking a random one I had no idea about. So even though I, this is the same thing, but I still picked a random one I didn't have any idea about, but at least it's aesthetically pleasing, you know what I'm saying? And it helped me decide. I probably would have been stuck there trying to decide for an hour or so. Okay dolls, so that was everything that I picked up from Marshalls. Let's go ahead and move on to Burlington. I got quite a few things there and I cannot wait to show y'all. So the first thing I'm gonna pop off with, and this is gonna be a pop off. Are you ready for the pop off? All you Hello Kitty fans, get excited. That's all I'm gonna say. So in case you don't know, the best time to shop for like Christmas gifts, Christmas decor, and Christmas gift wrap is right after Christmas. It's when everything goes on clearance 
and no one's buying Christmas stuff. So there's a bunch of it stuffed in the corner on clearance. That is when you want to shop for it. That's when you get your wrapping paper, you get your snow filler for your tree, you get any types of gifts that you can find, anything ornaments whatever so girl burlington had a christmas sale and he's still having it all of their christmas stuff right now including christmas clothes are 50 percent off 50 percent off i was just browsing i absolutely was not on the hunt for this at all but look at what i saw off the corner of my eye in the christmas section okay it's a hello kitty four pack glassware set and it's christmas themed look at how cute i have been seeing this go viral and trending all over tiktok during christmas and i wasn't one of the girlies that were on the hunt for this because i actually passed my hello kitty era i had my hello kitty era in my like late teens early 20s and i had a huge plushy hello kitty collection and when i say huge i mean huge and i actually donated all of it to a little girl's shelter so some little lucky little girl got a bunch of hello kitty stuff or maybe they all shared i don't know but i ended up donating because i just felt like i didn't have a use for it and i was an adult and i'm like what am i doing keeping all these plushies when there's like little girls out there who don't have toys at all so i gave them away and i hated myself for it like the next day but I'm not one of the girlies who are on the hunt for this. Like I'm not a huge Hello Kitty collector anymore. So I don't really think I have great use for this. So if you ask me why I picked this up, because girl, it was 50% off. It was originally, I think $12.99. Well, it says here it was $22.99. I don't know about that. But I paid $6.49 for it because I just thought it was so cute. I'm really obsessed with this glass right here. I just love her with the Christmas tree dress. Like what and then there's this one with her with a lollipop like the candy cane theme <gasps> fits my room theme only it's red it's just so cute like all of these glasses are so cute i kind of want to open them up and just show you guys each one individual so this one says be merry and bright super cute next one is our little peppermint candy cane little girly it's so cute she has like a little candy cane with a bow on it in her hand like hello kitty is still cute like it's not my vibe i don't collect her anymore or anything like that but she's still cute you know i have this one which is my favorite print and it has like the little tree dress the christmas tree dress how cute and this is the last one it just says hello kitty and it has her on there that is so freaking adorable so yeah you guys check out your local burlington if you're on the hunt for these there's a lot of stuff that they're also pulling from the back that was christmas that i could tell never went out to the floor because like burlington is literally right up the street for me and i'm in there like almost every single day so i see when stuff come out and, and there's stuff that they're pulling out and putting into the sale section that i never saw out in at the christmas time so just check your local burlington but i don't know if i'm gonna keep these give them as a gift a giveaway or sell them on makari i'm not entirely sure what i'm going to do with these um, I just thought they were cute and a really good price. So I was like, mm, let me grab those because that might be a cute gift for next year. So I got these. So next, you guys, I'm going to share with you some bags that I picked up from Burlington. If you guys saw my Christmas, what I got for Christmas, then you noticed that I talked to you guys about my bag being damaged. The one that I bought for Christmas ended up being damaged. Girl, how pissed I was when I saw that damage. But there was literally no other bag and I couldn't exchange it because there was no other bag I wanted to exchange it with so I just kept it but I did find two more bags I'm actually on the hunt for a pink monogram barrel bag so if you guys see that let me know or if you guys had know where I can buy it like let me know if you find it because I'll buy it off you the first bag I'm going to show you guys is this one. This had just came out. They literally had just stuck it on the floor because I was in there the day before and there was no juicy bags out. So they had just brought this one out. I think it's so cute. It's in that macaron print color, which you dolls know is one of my favorite prints from them for the bags. This is also, you guys, my favorite style of bag to wear. I just love it. It's super easy. It fits under your arm like perfectly. Very, very comfortable to wear. It holds plenty of stuff that you may need and this was only a 19.99 you guys 
I'm not gonna open the bag because it has literally two pockets just like every other bag you guys have seen me open it has two pockets and the black and white like print inside of it but it's so cute with the gold amulet on it it's just it's gorgeous it's like a basic bag but also really really cute and stylish I feel like this will make a good Valentine's Day bag but it's not my Valentine's Day bag I'm actually on the hunt for another juicy Valentine's Day bag I saw the black bag and the black backpack like monogrammed with the red heart and there's also a brown one with a pink heart I saw the wallet of the brown one with the pink heart but I haven't found the bag yet but that's for another day so the next bag that I picked up is this one <gasps> she is so cute I am so obsessed with this bag you guys it's so pretty do you see that print I love this it has the JC logos the heart is in this like crisscross shape the name of this bag is a pink clay Du Bois bag this color is the pink clay color one of my favorite colors don't get me wrong i love the macaron color pink but i also love this one these two are my favorite between these two i don't know which one i like more and then the zipper has like this heart cut out it's just so cute it holds a lot of stuff again not gonna open it for you it's the typical i think it's like a black and yep the black and white print um, I love the cute emblem on it. It's just really pretty. And then the charm, the heart charm. I got this bag to replace the damaged bag that I had showed you guys in my What I Got for Christmas because I needed another big bag that wasn't damaged that I could feel comfortable wearing and not be trying to hide like the little damage on the back. And this is just perfect. Best believe I like looked all over this bag. I was like a magnifying glass. Like the girl at the register was probably like, this girl is crazy but i just need to make sure that it wasn't damaged and i'm obsessed with this bag you guys it was 27.99 so really really good deal let me see the original price <gasps> the original price is 99 dollars from juicy couture 99 dollars, and i got it for 28 like just stop talking to me stop talking to me get on my level get on my level huh? get on my level get on my level Get on my level. So uh, this is something that I just recently purchased. I got this from the Christmas section as well. And I picked it up because I thought it was like on sale for 50% off. But I looked at my receipt when I got home and I realized that they charged me full price. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to ask them like, can you double check that this is full price and not like 50% off? Because I believe it should be 50% off. But it is this... Um, ornament look at how pretty it is it's a snowflake ornament and it's all pink rhinestones i hope you guys are seeing this it is so pretty in the light it sparkles so beautifully this is by um, made in india which is one of my favorite like design brands home design brands i absolutely love it it has like a gold rope for the string <gasps> it's just so pretty and it's gold and this was $5.99 it says it originally was $10.99 and it's $5.99 but I this is not a red tag you guys see like all of their stuff that's on clearance has a red tag so if you don't see a red tag on it and it's ringing up like it looks like it's ringing up full price you need to ask them like hold on where's the red tag for this so i'm going to take this back in and i'm just going to ask them if they could check and see if this is on clearance because i believe it should be so i'm going to set this aside next bag you guys is also from burlington so first things first so i picked up these cargo black sweatpants now i do have a pair of cargo black sweatpants and they're actually really good quality the problem with them is i wore them a couple of times and i popped them in the washing machine and they now have like these tiny white lint balls all over them and i've tried lint rolling it i've tried everything i literally can't get these little white balls off and it just drives me crazy so i don't wear them that much so i wanted another pair of black cargo pants and i found these in the um junior section they have two pockets on the side they don't have velcro i might just sew some velcro patches on because i like for them to be able to like close shut but like two pockets look at how cute that is and then the ankle is like a tapered ankle i think this is so cute i did pick it up in an extra small i don't know why i did that like obviously i was shopping in the junior section i should have been picking up small just in case you guys are wondering um i'm a small in juniors and i'm normally like an extra small in like ladies 
So I picked this up and this was by the brand Faded Rose Essentials and this was $9.99. I think that's a really good deal and they're super like warm. They're not that thick, like this is the material inside, but they're super warm and comfy and I tried these on and they fit really well. The extra small was just like riding my crotch. It was like a little too fitted. You know, when I wear sweatpants, I don't want you to see like the shape of my booty and the shape of my legs. Like you shouldn't see my shape too much. I like it to be baggy. I like my beat down low and my top laid back. See me ride 24 with a, I like my, Okay, that's how I like my sweatpants. Like that song. Oh, I forgot about this. I totally forgot about this. But also in the um, holiday section or the Christmas clearance section, I picked up this um, wine glass set. And I had seen these full price. It's like a two set. It has like a rhinestone pink snowflake and a pink Christmas tree. And this is by the brand Serendipity 3. I saw this um before when it was full price and i was gonna pick it up and it was 10.99 but i did not want to stand in line because the line was super long so i was just like you know what if i come back and it's still here i'm gonna pick it up and i came back and it was there but it was in the clearance section and it was only see the red tag that's what you want to look for when you go into burlington look for that red tag okay baby it was $4.49. It's so cute. I think this would also make a great gift as well to somebody. I'm into giving cups and mugs. Can y'all see I'm into giving the dishes for? Because I feel like it's something that you can use, but it's also something that people like, like appreciate. But I didn't get these for a gift. I got these for myself for Christmas this coming year. So yeah, happy about those. And then I picked up this like spa headband. And it has like a cute bling heart on it. I got it for Valentine's Day. I do have a spa headband that's Valentine's theme. It has like dark pink hearts on it. You guys have seen it before many times. But I know that I don't need any more of these things. But I can't stop buying them, y'all. It's an addiction. Every time I see a cute one, I'm just like, I need to get it. So I picked it up. It was only $3.99. And I figure like... These things get dirty, especially if you put your makeup on with them. Some of them I use for my like skincare to wash my face and then other ones I use to put makeup on with and those just get dirty. So I have to switch them out very frequently. So I thought you can't really have too many, can you? Can you? But this one is super cute and I thought this would be really nice and like I say videos when I do my makeup and stuff like that. That's what I told myself. <laughs> That's what I justified. <laughs> So I went there looking for a dry brush and something I can exfoliate my skin with. And also I was looking for like the reusable makeup remover washcloths. So this is what I found. I found, I found this exfoliating hydro sponge. This is by Earth The Therapeutics, I think it's called. Earth, okay. This is by Earth Therapeutics. It says it's lined with organic cotton. I just saw organic all over it and it was pink and I said, why not try this out? It was $3.99 and it says the sponge exfoliate, wait, this exfoliating sponge gently exfoliate layers of dead skin to buff away dullness and unclog pores, cleaning away toxins and impurities to reveal skin's natural glow. So I just thought that this was like a really good thing to have. I'm, like I told you guys, my skin has been very dull and dry and I just wanna kind of buff it up. Not just my facial skin, but also just my skin over my whole body has been super dry and I have a lot of dead skin. I noticed like after I get out of shower, like I will scrub my body with a loofah and get out of the shower and I will touch my arm and dead skin will just start crumbling off my arm. I'll be putting my cocoa butter on my legs and dead skin will just be peeling up as I'm putting the cocoa butter on my legs even though I just scrubbed my body with the loofah so I'm hoping that this will help with that and I'm thinking I'm probably going to need a few more of these as well because it looks like something that's not going to last that long and then to go along with that I also picked up the makeup removing cloth this is the only thing I could find for reusable makeup cloths at Burlington there are some on Amazon but they're like $15 for the pack so I just felt like this is a lot easier to go with and I wanted to try it out anyway so this is like better for me this was only $3.99 so I can get to try it and see if I like it I typically just use the like regular makeup wipes to clean my face oh no I only have four minutes left y'all I gotta hurry up 
The next thing that I picked up is the Dove um, Pink Bar Soap. This was four, a four pack and it was $4.49. They had just put a whole shelf of the Dove soaps out. So I definitely wanted to try them out. And I noticed that the bar soaps, I don't know what it is. They just lather better. And I feel like they clean my skin so much better than body wash. I could be wrong. It could all be in my head. But I just picked this up because I know for a fact the Dove soap is really good for my skin. And it's very moisturizing. So if that other body wash doesn't end up working out, I know for a fact I have a backup. This is the body wash in a sponge it's an anti-cellulite sponge a 4-in-1 it moisturizes exfoliates massages and cleanses it has argan oil seaweed and caffeine it's up to 12 uses the scent of this is peony blossom and i guess it's just a sponge that has soap in it i'm not entirely sure what this is you guys so i'm gonna have to try this out and let you guys know what i think this was only 3.99 but i thought it would be just like a great exfoliator for my skin and then i got my tried and true coconut oil um body oil you guys this is just a clutch like if you don't know what else to get to oil your body this i have been using the baby oil for a hot minute now and it's just not doing a job i don't know why my skin is just not being moisturized i know i need to probably drink more water but i feel like the palmer's coconut oil is going to really really work this is a clutch you guys you can put this all over your body your hair everywhere so i'm gonna try this out and hopefully i know for a fact this is going to do the trick this was 4.99 a little bit expensive i feel because i feel like i swear i got this from walmart for like two dollars but it's okay i couldn't really find it anywhere else so i'm happy i found it at burlington when i did and i picked it up we have to go fast because we literally only have three minutes left on my camera so i have one more bag and i'm just going to show you guys what i got i'm not going to talk too much about it I got these pink sweatpants with pockets from the junior section and they're not any sweatpants they're like a thick sweatpant with sherpa lining these are super warm and i got these specifically for the winter time it also has a jawstring i got this in a size medium because as i told you guys i like my pants baggy and when you're shopping in the junior section it's kind of a hit or miss like small could really work or it could be a medium so i went with a medium on these and i like the way that they fit as a medium so i kept them the next thing i picked up is another pair of sweatpants because you can never have too many sweatpants when you're a girly like me and you know what's funny at the beginning of this video i literally said i need to stop wearing just like sweatpants and t-shirts and i really need to step up my fashion wardrobe but then when i get in the store all i buy is like lounge clothes it's so annoying i need to fix that you guys help me but i got these pink um it says it's reversible but i don't believe that i got these pink champion sweatpants and you guys champion sweatpants are just the best fit they're just the best quality they're super thick i love the fit of them they're perfect i'm gonna be on a hunt for a black pair of these these were 12.99 i got them in a small it has a champion logo embroidered on the leg and in the corner and it also has two pockets and it has a pocket on a booty girl like stop playing with it stop playing with it um so yeah i did pick that up i love that i'm definitely going to be picking up a black one in more colors in the champion because they just are great quality as i said and then the next thing that i picked up is this pink cardigan this was a 12.99 I don't really know or am familiar with the brand but it's just a lightweight cardigan that i thought would be really cute in the springtime with like summer dresses and stuff like that and spring dresses so i picked her up she's super cute and last but not least is this Ra Ra rouge juicy couture perfume you guys have already seen the review of this by now so i won't go into detail on this check out that video if you're interested but yeah i picked up this perfume it smells really really good and i'm sorry i had to rush you guys but i am out of space on my camera so i love you dolls don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye my doll i have to actually take back and like i said at the beginning of this polypropylene go eco sorrow uh what am i saying <sighs> Not just my face skin, my face skin. It's a vibe when you're looking in your eyes, yeah, yeah. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. And also, my, um... It's Friday night. That's what they do on Friday night, because what else they got to do with their time? Anyway. And you know the perfect with the truth.